Hi everybody, I'm Bob Grip here with Jason Smith. We're getting ready for Fox 10 News at 9 o'clock. And of course the weekend's here, so we want to know what the weather's going to be like. And we've had a lot of rain this week. That's an understatement. And it's not rained the whole time, and it's not going to rain the whole time over the weekend, but we're going to see more rounds of showers and storms. Mm -hmm. Kind of like today? Like today. And it looks like we're very moist. We've got a stalled front, so the ingredients are there. It's also very muggy. Mm -hmm. It is a steamy evening. I was down at Bienville Square earlier. Very, very steamy. And it was loud there, too. And temperatures, <laughs> it was. We saw, we had a good band rocking down there. 81 degrees in Mobile right now. 85 still in Daphne right now. That's crazy. I mean, here we are. It's 830 and still very, very muggy. Humidity is extraordinarily high. You can see it's between 80 and up to about 96% in Milton. So dew points in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. This is that mugginess that we tend to really feel in August. The tropics are looking pretty good right now, so that's good. We're not seeing any problems in the Gulf or the Caribbean Sea, but it's possible we could see some activity in the Atlantic over the weekend. I'll loop it for you here, and you can see the Gulf's looking great as is the Caribbean Sea, but the big story will be rain chances, Bob. We're going to see those. I'll highlight those coming up on Fox News at 9 p.m. The rain may continue even into next week. We'll get your boating forecast. Also, I'll have Fox 10 outdoors. So there's plenty to talk mm -hmm. about on Fox 10 News, but the main issue is this crazy rain we just keep seeing. It's been rainy all year. It sure has, and we've actually put together some special graphics that shows uh, where we are compared to normal and which months were below average, which months were above average. And, you know, we're almost a foot above normal for the year. We'll look at that wow. in detail coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Jason. And this afternoon, Congressman Mo Brooks was here in the studio. In fact, he was sitting over there at that chair where my uh, suit coat is right now. And he was doing a live interview with Fox News Channel. And while he was waiting to do that, I talked to him about the upcoming Senate race. Of course, he's going up against the incumbent, Luther Strange. And we've got the former Alabama Supreme Court Justice Roy Moore who is running. And, of course, he's in there, too. Now, if you remember, earlier this week, President Trump endorsed uh, Luther Strange for the post. Of course, Mo Brooks didn't like that too much. But he said, actually, he hasn't seen much of a bump in the numbers. In fact, things have gotten so close that there's an outside chance that Mo Brooks will actually surpass Luther Strange. So it might be uh, a Roy Moore... Mo Brooks uh, runoff when that happens in September. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, as the politicians always say, the most important poll is the one that's taken on Election Day. So we'll tell you more about that. Also, tonight at 9, at 9 o'clock and at 10 o'clock, a really kind of scary story. Some uh, A brother and sister say that men in a pickup truck tried to lure them into the pickup truck, promising them candy. You know, it's a big no-no. Luckily, they knew what to do. We'll have some tips to keep that from happening to your kids as well. Also, there was a sort of a free-for-all uh, fight at a gas station that was very close to Davidson High School. There was a shot fired. There was uh, somebody with a baseball bat. There's video of this, and we're going to show that to you tonight on Fox 10 News at 9 o'clock as well. So we've got a lot of news for you, a lot of weather. We have sports coming up. We're going to take a look at the South Alabama Jags as they get ready to open their season. They've got a couple of, of tough competitors in the first two games. So we'll take a look at all of that. That's coming up on Fox 10 News at 9. Hope you join us.